Hey, good optometry running. My grandmother, Polly, she had dry macular degeneration and she went blind from it. Now, if I had one piece of technology that I could take in a time machine, now, if I had two pieces of technology and one of them was something that I could take in a time machine to help her with her dry macular degeneration, it would be this technology. Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, YouTube Eye Doctor, and today I am excited to share with you about a new emerging treatment that can benefit people with dry macular degeneration. And it's super exciting because it actually can improve their vision. But First, let's talk a little bit about what the macula is. So the macula is the area of the retina that deals with your central five to 10 degrees. And that's the area that deals with your central vision, the area that you use to see people's faces, the area you use to read books, read text, look at your phone, drive a car. That's important central vision. That's what the macula deals with. And macular degeneration is when there's a premature aging of the retinal cells in that area and it results in vision loss. And so the macula is one of the highest metabolic tissues in the body. And what that means is it has one of the highest supply of blood and oxygen to that tissue. And basically there's a layer of blood vessels underneath the retina that brings nutrients and oxygen to the receptor cells to allow them to function normally. And there's this fancy process that goes on there and this chemical reaction that allows you to see. And then you have a bunch of waste products that are produced in that chemical reaction and those are hauled away by the blood supply. And my grandmother, Polly, along with millions and millions of other people that have dry macular degeneration, the problem is, is that chemical reaction, that metabolic activity is disrupted. It's not working properly and basically, the body's not able to haul away the waste products and you, get, and you get an accumulation of inflammatory cells underneath the receptor cells and these are called drusen and these will disrupt the function of these cells and these cells will eventually start to die. And that's the essence of what dry macular degeneration is. And so when you visit your doctor, they can do tests and take imaging and pictures of your eye to see signs of dry macular degeneration. So they can see those drusens, they can see that swelling underneath the retina. But you might also start to notice that your vision is decreasing a little bit. It starts off a little bit at first and it increases and it also can cause reduced contrast of images and that can be very concerning. And so 40 years ago, the treatment for my grandmother with dry macular degeneration was really not really anything and it's not that much different now. Now we have treatments or things that your doctor is going to recommend to you if you have dry macular degeneration and these are intended to reduce the risk of progression to try to slow down the progression of it and they're going to include things like stopping smoking if you're doing that protecting yourself from UV light, using A-red supplements and having a heart healthy lifestyle and diet to try to improve the nutrition to the important area of the macula. But none of those things can really improve someone's vision. And like I said, the sad news is we don't have many more options now than we did 40 years ago. But that's not true any longer because there is a technology called microcurrent therapy that may help people with dry macular degeneration. So the thing is, microcurrent treatment has been used for years in the body. It's been used to treat pain, to treat inflammation, and to try to help repair tissue. And I'm not talking about electric shock therapy, but I'm talking about microcurrent therapy. And this is used as a safe, small, small amount of electric current to change the function of the tissues. So the electrical current that's used in microcurrent therapy is very, very small. It's in the magnitude of a microamp, which is about one millionth of an amp, which is so small that it's very, very safe. It's interesting to know that actually your cells produce an electrical current themselves in their normal functioning. So depending on the tissue and what you want to do, there's different frequencies and different currents and different logarithms that they use to try to treat and heal the tissue. And this microcurrent affects tissues in a few different ways. So one of the things it does, it increases the amount of ATP that's produced in a cell. And so ATP is one of the major energy sources that's in the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell, 
And so microcurrent can actually increase the amount of ATP by about 500% in cells, which can cause cells to be kind of microcharged and recharge them to get them working better and more efficiently, particularly cells that are struggling to perform. In addition to that, we know that microcurrents can also reduce the pro inflammatory cytokines. These are chemicals that are producing that cause inflammation in tissue. And we know microcurrent can reduce the number of those inflammatory chemicals, and that can be beneficial in conditions in the body, including macular degeneration, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. So microcurrent is currently being used in medicine to treat things like burns, symptoms from shingles, from diabetic neuropathy, from kidney stones, and a whole bunch of other conditions in the body. And so we know that microcurrent treatment is a safe treatment that can be done on the body. So I took a few days to dive deep and look at all the research that there is for microcurrent treatment for dry macular degeneration or treatments of eye conditions with microcurrent. And there's not a ton of studies out there, but there definitely are a handful of studies that have been used to try to treat conditions of the eye with microcurrent. And I'll put a link listing all these studies down in the description, so if you want to dive into them and look at them yourselves, you can go ahead and do that. And on that note, if you're learning a little bit new today, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button so you can tell YouTube the value of this content and I can produce more videos like this one. So basically, the safety studies with microcurrent on the eyes show that this is a safe treatment for the eye. Basically, in all the studies, they showed really no adverse effects to microcurrent treatment to the eyes, other than in one study there was one patient that reported some contact dermatitis, which is basically an allergic or an inflammation of the skin, most likely due to the ultrasound gel that was on the surface of the skin. But otherwise, these studies indicate that microcurrent treatment is a safe treatment for the eyes. So let's talk a little bit about the studies that are out there to show if this is effective. So, so in 2013, there was a study done on 22 patients with dry macular degeneration using microcurrent. And what the study showed that there was a significant improvement in the visual acuity of these patients after they've done this treatment. And a lot of them noticed an improvement in the vision even after one week. And it seemed like the results of this was effective up to even six months in some of these patients. Now, in 2008, there was a very small study of dry macular degeneration using microcurrent treatment, and it also showed an improvement of the visual acuity in patients in as short as four weeks. And in 2015, there was a study of about 31 patients, and this included patients with both dry and wet macular degeneration, and it also showed an improvement in visual acuity in patients that had the treatment. And probably the largest and most recent study that was done was released in 2023. And this was a Canadian study, and it looked at about 63 patients having microcurrent treatment to the eyes. And it showed that there was about a seven letter improvement in visual acuity. That's almost a line and a half improvement in the vision in about four weeks of treatment. And in about 30 weeks, it showed about a 10 letter improvement, which is about a two line improvement of visual acuity in these patients. And in addition to that, it also showed that there was an improvement in the contrast sensitivity for these patients. And so the bottom line of these studies is that microcurrent treatment for dry macular degeneration does improve the patient's vision. And it can improve the vision by one to two lines in as early as one week. Now, the one thing that we know is that this treatment is temporary and it lasts for different lengths of time in different people. And so that's one thing, the area of study that needs to be done to show how long this treatment is effective for so we can know the best protocol and the most and the frequency that patients should be having this treatment done. Okay, so I'm going to tell you where you can get this treatment done, but first let's talk about what you're going to experience when you actually have this treatment done. And so basically what's going to happen, you're going to wear this headpiece and there's going to be some little metal eye cups and some grounding pads and you're going to put some ultrasound gel on your lids and on your cheeks where the grounding pad's on and you're going to put this device on. The treatment's going to be done with your eyes closed and there's going to be some eye cups that touch on your lid on the upper portion of your lid near your brown, brow and your cheekbone. And so your eyes are going to be closed during the treatment and the eye cups are only going to be touching on the skin on your upper and lower eyelid. And what you're going to experience during the treatment is something called phosphenes, and which is basically kind of a flashing, flickering light in your visual field. And sometimes you might also notice a little bit of tingling in and around the skin in some patients. But generally speaking, this treatment is very comfortable. You can just sit back, relax, have your eyes closed, 
put your headphones on, listen to your favorite podcast, and experience the treatment. So in my experience, I found this treatment was easy to do both for the doctor's point of view and also for the patients setting it up and performing it and participating in the treatment as well. So the patients that I saw only had about two or three treatments. And what was great to see was that even in those short few treatments, they all had a little bit of improvement by about one, one and a half lines of their visual acuity, which is pretty incredible in a short period of time. All right, so where can you get microcurrent treatment right now. As of mid-2024, there is only one country that has approved this treatment for dry macular degeneration, and that's Canada. And so Health Canada has approved microcurrent technology for the treatment of dry macular degeneration when prescribed by your eye doctor. Now, it is anticipated that the FDA in the U.S. or the health agency in Australia or in Asia and in Europe will eventually approve microcurrent treatment for dry macular degeneration, but at this point, it's only available in Canada. So if you have dry macular degeneration and you're looking for some options to that might help improve your vision, at least temporarily, you might want to talk to your optometrist about the option of microcurrent technology and ask, is this microcurrent technology available to you and is it an option that might benefit you? And with that, have a great optometry day.